Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to solve another example on line problem. We'll be analyzing this object. Now we want to replicate this object on our drawing sheet. Right? So what we'll first of all do is to draw the external circle. Now if I zoom this in I discover that my external circle here, you see this arrow here, is giving us what? Diameter of 90. Right? So I'll take half of it, which is 45, and that is the radius, to draw my circle. And this is what I am going to do. You take your meter rule, and you are going to draw an horizontal line this way right then you're going to take your 45 degrees square, square and you place it on here and you do this to this way this way now the aim is for you to get the center point this is the center point here right now i said we measure radius of what 45 now, if I place my rule this way, from 0 here to 45, this is half of it here. You can see that? And I'll place it at the center here, where I'm going to use to draw my circle. I'm taking it, I'm going to make it an outline. Now, after doing that, if you look at that shape again, this is what you see. Now let's zoom it out and see. It says that at every corner that divided into four, right? I'm going to join each and every one of them. So let's join it and see. At every corner, when I mean every corner, I mean this corner here that gives a corner another point another point another point we have four points right so all those four points i'm going to change together and this is what i'm going to do let's see that and see what will happen so i'm going to take my meter rule where i'm drawing this point use a faint line not a thick line where i'm drawing this Line. and this and that faint line and this and that line again and another line again now that is the first step you do now if you look at it very well, let's zoom it out and so we'll see what is happening. After joining here to here to here to here, there is a thickness of both of them and that is what? 6. So I measure 6. Right? So let's measure the 6. So how would I measure that 6? I'll measure it from this point. I measure six. So taking my meter rule, I measure the six from here. So let's zoom that and see. So from this point, I measure six. So if I put it this way, from zero here, on that line, and this is six. You can see six. This is six here. There are my points. Right? So I'll take my 45 degrees square square. This is my 45 degrees square square here. Mm -hmm. And I'll place it on my T square to make it easier for me. I'll place it on my T square. And I'll move it. It must be tangential to the edge of the board. And 
and I'll move it to that point. Right? And I'll just join this to this. You can see that? Either you may just you now have your what's that the reset square? You may just six here, you also measure six here and you join. Now after doing that, I'll come to the other edge also, which is this edge too. I'll measure six here from here. You can see that? Let's zoom that and see. And I'll measure six. Now that's six here. So if I like I'll measure here again I use my ruler and join. But it's better to make use of your set square for type degree. And you just move it on your T square. And you do this. That's the other one. Then you do from this point two again, you measure six. So if I measure six on that point from here, I'm starting from zero here, and I measure six again. Right? So from that point, I hope you can see the point here. Now I'll take my 45 degrees square and I'm going to draw it to the other point. Now the next one <coughs> is to measure six from here. So measuring the six from here. So I'll do the same thing too. Right? And I'll place it here. Just repeat the same thing. Now it has formed these four points. Now the next thing we'll do is this. Now we've done this successfully. We've drawn this one, these two thickness. Now the next one is this. Now how will I get this four corner? This corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner. I'm going to use my 45 degrees S square. And let's see. So, I'm going to place 45 here, I'll place it this way on my T square and ensure it passing through the center. And I'll get this. This point I need here, I need there. I don't have to draw this line. Try it, no complicated matter. Just mark this point and mark this point. The same thing here too. I'll place it here. I'll mark this point. And I'll mark this point. That's what you just have to do. So what you do is you just join these two points here with a rule with faint line. Hope you can see that. Take the other guy. Again here too. With a faint line. Again here too. A different line, and you move this to this point, and join it to a different line. After doing those four points, the next thing is you need to measure the thickness. If you look at the thickness of this, hmm, like the thickness of this, yeah, you discover that. The thickness between these two is also six wide. So I'll do the same thing I did for the other one. Measure six wide. So from here, I'll measure six also. Let's put it this way. This is my point zero here. And I'll measure six in at this point. So I'll take my metal rule. I'll just close it up. I see that. I'll come here also. I'll measure six here too. From zero to this point. 
Até que o momento eu vou lá só. Eu vou mais com a sesquia. Eu vou fazer isso. 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 Eu vou fazer And here six. I do this. Right. We have successfully drawn all the shapes. Now, if you look at this, look at this closely. Let me zoom it in. Hmm. What you do is, if you look at this one on here, it's on top of the other one. So this is how I look at what I want to do now. I will take my metal rule or my ruler. Let me use this. The first one is covering. Look at. Let me just show you the. the, the let me show you what to do. First one is climbing. Then second one. First one is above. First above, below, above, below, above, below, just like that. So let's start with above. It means that I'm going to take this from this point. It says above. So from here, I will have my above. I will stop here. Also, here yeah, starting from this point here. It's still above. I'll stop here. Right? Then if I cross this, it's below this. I'll stop here. And this also, I'll stop here too. So, then the next one, above again, from here. So, again right stop here then below then the next one on this point and below and below come here also to be above above stop here that is below and then also above then below Above, below, above, yes, below. I see. I saw the first one. I'm, I'm starting with crossing above, going under, going above the other one. So I'm using tick thick line to show that it's going above so let's now complete the other one which is this so I'll just move this where it is below I'll cross it off like crossing them this way can see that so that's from this point Open here. Then this one is this. The four corners will join. Stop here. Up again. Two. 
This is what we just do. This one too, and we just come on. Okay, and you I go. Okay, and you go. So, this is what we have. Now, what we'll do now is to remain in one other aspect again, which is the square inside. You can see the square. So let me zoom it so you see it. This square inside here. So I'll draw the square. How will I draw the square? This is what I'm going to do here. I'll take my 45 degree set square. And I'll place it on my T square, right? This is my T square here. So I will just at this point to the center. I'm going to mark here where I want it to touch. You can see that. And there's these two places here. Then I'll go to the next one too. I do the same thing to, to the center. You can see the center here. I'm going to mark here too. So where they meet, I'm going to join them together. So I'm joining here to here. I'll draw this. Then joining here to here. I'll draw this. Joining here to here. I draw this. Then the last one of the list and wait for you. I'll join this. Now this is what we have, which is this. Now one thing about our line problem is that they are testing us on how effective we can differentiate between our lines, how we can use our line. Now if you look at this circle now, it is a circle is a symmetrical object. Right when you divide it into two, right? So the left side is equal to the right side. So what I will do here is I'm going to divide my circle into two this way. I'll take my set square to the center, right? And I'll draw a long line, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, just like that. This is my center line. And I'll go to the other side also. I'll do it here too. I'm going to draw a long one, short one. Are you with me? They call it the center line. That is how you represent it. So having done that, um that will be all for this drawing. So if you found this video helpful. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.